हेलो गाइस दिस साइड वेबल जैन वेलकम टू वी जे जी लर्न सो टूडे वी विल सी वॉट इज ब्लू प्रिज्म वॉट इज आप Blue Prism is the leading RPA tool in the industry. Now the industry fully started using robotic process automation tools. Now the robotic automation is trending in the technology world. We can earn better salary as a Blue Prism expert. Each and every organization want to grow their business with cost effective and wants to keep growing their business as well. World started using robotics for lot of requirements. If we learn RPA tools, we will get better future. If you are a Blue Prism expert, you will see better future as soon as possible. Either it can be salary wise or growth wise. It's code free. Anyone can learn Blue Prism without any coding knowledge also. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation and Blue Prism is one among the many tool being used in RPA space. In simple terms, any repetitive manual office work executed by a human effort could be replaced with automation tool. For example, we can write a program that would automatically start running at certain time and log in to give 100 web account in a site and grab the details back to the sheet without any manual work. The scope is endless. In a nutshell, we can automate anything you see in monitor as we know blue prism is one of the tool used to achieve this automation we can do automation in excel sheet also using vpa only difference is that the tool like bp ui path and automation anywhere eliminate the need of coding to do automation and provide better control over solution than traditional automation being done through dotnet java vb etc now we talk about what is blue prism so blue prism is a uk based software company and is one of the leading robotic process automation tools as we know blue prism has gained edge over its competitors as it has better security flexibility scalability compliance and resilience blue prism is a rpa tool which hold the capability of virtual workforce powered by software robots This helps the enterprises to automate the business operation in an agile and cost-effective manner. The tool is based on Java programming language and offers a visual designer with drag and drop functionality. Now we talk about Blue Prism benefit. Okay, robotic process automation Blue Prism technology has several advantages such that increase efficiency, improve accuracy, low operational cost, elevated CX, richer data analytics, higher employee productivity and satisfaction, easier and agile process design and faster time to market. Now we will talk about different types of Blue Prism software. There are six type of tabs in Blue Prism. Number 1 is home. Home has display different charts which give information about the Blue Prism database. And second is studio. Studio is an important part of a Blue Prism where we implement actual automation steps. There are two studios, object studio and the process studio. Number 3 is control room. Control room is the central point of administration in Blue Prism where it handle control monitor execute and schedule of process execution on the distributed boards number 4 is dashboard dashboard is used to detect different charts displaying information about robotic workforce number 5 is releases Release manager is used to manage import and export of a configuration packages between different Blue Prism environment. Number six is system. System tab is used by administrator for user management. Okay, so now we talk about what is Object Studio. Object Studio is mainly used to develop the objects. Inside the object, we have different type of action. So number one is application modeler to spy elements. Application modeler is used for spying the application. Spying is the identifying the element in the application. Different types of spying modes are available: Win32 mode, HTML mode, Accessibility mode, Region mode. Okay, number two is initialize page and clean up page. Now we will talk about Process Studio. What is Process Studio? Process Studio has only main page. If the page is published, we can call from the Process Studio. We use the Process Studio for developing and testing. Now we will see difference between Object Studio and Process Studio. So, 
Object Studio creates object graphically by development tool. In Process Studio, diagram creates that look like flow diagram by development tool. In Object Studio, stages are there read, write, navigate, code, fade, etc. And in Process Studio stages, we have alert stage in the Process Studio. And number three is Object Studio. We have initialize and clean up page. Okay, in Process Studio, we have the main page. Object Studio interacts with the external application and process interacts with the Object Studio and the control room. Object Studio launch and application modeler is available and in Process Studio launch and application modeler is not available. Now we will talk about exception handling in Blue Prism. Exception handling it is a critical part of any Blue Prism solution. An exception is a problem that arises during the execution of a process or object. When errors are encountered in a Blue Prism, it generates exceptions. Okay, now we will talk about exception handling stages. Number one is recovery. Begins a block for handling exception, and second is resume. Ends a block for handling exception. Now we will talk about types of exception. Number one is internal exception. It based on on our missing mandatory data in stages. Number second is system exception. System exception will occur based on internet is down or our bot need internet or any system failure. Number third is business exception. These exceptions are not actually exceptions. However, based on the business rules, we are creating the exception we need to file manually through bot. Now we talk about work queue. It is an internal configurable list that enable a process to manage its workload. A process can use different work queue and work queue can be shared by multiple processes as required. And queue management tab in the control room provide the operational user interface for work queues. The tab is divided into two. A list of queues is shown in the upper half and the lower half show a list of item in a queue. Now we will talk about tags. A tag is a keyword of a term assigned to a work queue item as a method of categorizing or grouping that item. Adding a tag to a work queue item simply requires the use of an action stage. Now we will talk about status. Each work queue item has a status. The status can be used as a method of recording what work has been done so far on a work queue item. Now we will talk about priority. When designing an automated solution, you should consider if any different work types or scenarios within the process should be worked before other work item. Now we will talk about credential manager in Blue Prism. Credential are a secure repository for detail used to log into target application. They are encrypted in the Blue Prism database to make them only accessible to those who should be able to use them. The credential management system determines which process, resource and roles have permission to access the information and a special internal credential business object provide action for using credential. At last, we will talk about scheduler. Blue Prism tool allows to execute processes at a specified time and repeat their execution at various interval. So it is termed as scheduler. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and follow me. Okay and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.